All right, guys, I want to talk a little bit about keeping computers clean. I got a couple of them here that's one's here and needs cleaned out, and two of them kind of died, and it's kind of because of the dirt problem inside them. They've been overheating. Now, most tall computers or desktops, it's really easy to get the side cover off. Now, this one here, as you can see over here, there's one here. And there was one here, screws. Okay, it had the same thing on this side that I, all, I took out already. So you can also see inside this power supply fan the dirt that's in there. Now, this, most side covers will pull right back and come off, okay? Now, if it doesn't have your Phillips head screws, you may have something like this set up where you'll have these thumb screws, okay? But most all of these computers will come apart one way or another. Now, on this one here, you can see right here that this is a cooling fan for the processor. That is one major part that you need to keep clean. Alright, so this is where blowing them out really works good. This is an extra fan, not all of them will have this one. And also you can see up in here, which I don't know if you can see with the light, um, but the power supply is starting to collect a lot of dirt and dust. Okay, so this one the hard drive is not even bolted in. But anyway, you got dust and dirt everywhere, okay? Um, this one here is the same way. I don't know if I can get down in there and zoom you in there. Well, I hope this one shows up. But, I don't know if you can see all the dirt down in here. If you look past the fan blades right down here, you can see that that's solid, okay? They're supposed to be fins. Like, I don't know if you can see them over here. See, there's fins supposed to be behind there, and this fan blows air over and keeps the processors cool. And what happens is they overheat, okay? Now, this computer is made a little different, but it's kind of the same thing. It's got a, a fan here, which you can see the vents down in below, so this one's a little bit better shape for that. Um, but this one here also has an external fan. So what you're going to want to do is you want to clean these fans and blow the whole thing out, okay? Now there is programs that you can get online for free. One's called SIW. I'll put a link down below here. Um, you can run that program, find out a lot about your computer, pretty much everything you ever want to know about it. Plus, you can also um, look at your temperatures and see what it's running at. Most computers, if you start out with them clean and understand how they work and listen to them, then whenever they start getting um, built up with dirt, you'll start hearing fans increase, the speeds and stuff like that. So there's many ways of cleaning these out. Um, you can use a leaf blower, which I have used that one, some gas powered. But what I normally use is what this is, is the head off of a Sears um, shopping vac. So I use that, and what I'll do here, I'll put you on a tripod and I'll show you me blowing these out. Now what I like to do also is I like to either put my finger here or put something there to where I don't spin the fan at excessive speeds. They're only made to run at a certain RPM, so blowing the air over them, you can exceed that RPM. So some people say it doesn't matter. I like to block the fan. I don't see why I want to cause a problem when I can just simply stop the fan from moving. So the other thing I like to do is I take a paintbrush because everybody's got a paintbrush. I'll do a paintbrush. But you can just kind of simply come in here and you can knock a lot of the dirt out of them and get it loose with just simply a paintbrush. Now you don't want to just randomly touch everywhere in there, okay? But a lot of these fans and stuff, you can do a lot of cleaning just with a paintbrush, okay? Now the rest of this, well, I'll put you on a tripod and I'll show you how I blow these out. Okay, I hope you can see this. I know you won't be able to hear it, but here is what I do.
know if you can see this or not, but there's usually always a vent in the front here too. You want to make sure that's clean because that's how it sucks its air in. And now this one here might take a little more doing. Um, thing is, you can do this, if you can get down into there, you can. But if you ever take this heat sink off that's got the fan attached to it, the little part with the fins on it, then you have to apply new thermal paste to put it on. Now, we'll hit this one more time. I'd have to do this repeatedly on this one and use some more stuff, but I don't know if you can see there where you're actually starting to see the fins down in there. So you got to get all that cleaned out in there, and you got to make sure all the fins all the way down through is clean. Like I say, this one was bad enough that it actually burn up some stuff in it. So um, you just want to make sure you get it clean. Now this one here needs a little bit of wiring tied up and stuff on it it needs some wire management done but if you can see this one the fan down in there is a lot cleaner okay and there now if you really want to which is a good idea um, these are customers computers so I will sit down and I will take like a q-tip with rubbing alcohol or something and I'll try to get off what dust I can get off that um, doesn't just come off with the um, paintbrush and blowing it out because that dust and dirt will make noise sometimes on there. Now another thing is guys laptops are just as important if not more important okay laptops on the bottom have vents okay so the thing is you don't want to lay this on your lap and block them vents up. You don't want to lay this on nothing that's um, like a blanket or nothing because it relies on air intake through all them vents. So what you're going to want to do is turn your laptop on. This one blows out the fan um, exit right here and there should be a place you should be able to feel air blowing out. Now if you don't hardly feel no air blowing out at all, chances are you might be plugged. But what I like to do is take a can of air or something, or even if you're careful with the vacuum or something, you can do it. But I like to blow air back through here because there's some cooling fins in there. Not uncommon to the ones that's in the behind that fan there. And what you'll have is another fan in behind them cooling things, them fins. And when you look in here, visibly looking, it might look clean. But the it gets the air gets drawn through the fresh vents gets through the fan and gets pushed out over top of these heat sinks so a lot of these laptops the only way to get them to fix and run cool is to actually tear them apart and clean them apart or clean them when they're apart um, if you take a laptop and blow it out two or three times a year and are careful that you don't leave it on a blanket when it's running or you know somewhere to cover the vents then you might get away with a lot less times than that and you might not never have to tear it apart but it's one thing to keep in mind, laptops, a lot of them die because of heat. So you do want to clean them out. Um, if you stay on top of it and clean it out frequently with a can of air or something, then um, you really shouldn't have too much troubles. The other thing about these computers, especially the desktops, if they're sitting on the floor, they will get dirtier a lot faster than if they're about two feet off the floor. So like I say, there's programs like SIW, um, system, system information for Windows and stuff like that and it'll tell you the RAM, the processor, it'll tell you more than you ever would need to know about your computer. But there's a thing in there with sensors and it'll tell you the temperatures. And you can actually monitor your computer when it's first cleaned out or when it was new and also monitor in your self's mind what the fans sound like. And then if you notice that your computer is running a lot louder 
or if you go to that site and you see that the temperatures are up then you need to clean. Like I say I suggest once or twice a year at the minimum to clean out your desktop computers, um, your laptops, if you had a can of air around and could do it once a month or something that would be good. I mean it depends on the environment they live in. A lot of people use air compressors. I really don't like the air compressor route because a lot of the air compressors school bus but a lot of the air compressors um, put out enough water and moisture that sometimes you can get a corrosion problem. Now a lot of people say these shop vacs make static electricity. I don't touch or make contact with anything. As you've seen I keep the blower way back out so chances that's a lot um, less likely. Um, but anyway I'm going to go back to cleaning these out better. Um, I will clean these to where I don't see no dust or dirt in them at all before I give them back to the customers. So um, I just wanted to, a little video expressing the importance of um, cleaning your computers out.